In this tutorial, you will learn how to manage a SharePoint links list. A links list lets you provide a collection of links to other site locations in your internet, to external websites, or any URLs that may be of interest or useful, such as industry-related organizations or vendors. By default, a links list is part of a team site. However, it is not displayed on the web page, and there is not a shortcut to it in the quick launch. To access the links site, click on All Site Content at the bottom of the quick launch. In the list section, click on Links, and the links list opens. If no links have been added to the list, it will look like this. To add a link, click on Add New Link. The URL field actually has two parts. The first is for the actual address, the second for a description. So I'll fill in the address. And then I'll add a description. At this point, I can either click on the Save button on the ribbon or click on the Save button at the bottom. That returns me to the list, and I can see the new link that I've just added. Notice in the list, in the URL column, the description displays, not the actual address. If you need to open the links item back up to make changes, click on this edit icon, and then you can make change to the URL or the description. When finished, click Save. To open the site, click on the URL, and the link opens in the current instance of my browser, replacing my SharePoint site page. So when I'm finished working in this site, in order to get back to my SharePoint site, I'll need to use the Back button. Without technical customization, you cannot automatically launch links in a new window. However, you can right-click on the link, and then select Open a New Window. And now the CNN site has opened in its own browser window with my SharePoint site behind it. So when I'm finished working in this site, I close it out and I'm back to my SharePoint site. At the top, List Tools provides commands for working with the links list. If I click on the Items List Tools, a series of buttons displays for working with the individual items. When I click on List, that displays a series of buttons for working with the list as a whole. I'll return back to the Items ribbon. The first button on the far left would let me add a new link, the same as this link at the bottom of the list. I can add folders. The next few buttons are grayed out because I don't have an actual link selected. As soon as I select a link, these buttons light up. And one of the buttons here, I can delete the item, I can select permissions for a link, I can edit the link, or just view the information about the link. I'll click on the list tools. The first half of this ribbon has a lot of buttons here to let you create views or work with different views of the list. You can email a link to the list to somebody. You can create alert for the list, and the alert would notify you when any changes are made to the list. And then over here in list settings, there are many options here to control how the list works. And I'm going to select title, description, and navigation. In this option, I can change the title of the links list. By default, SharePoint just calls it links. You can change the description of the list. Down in this navigation section, I can choose to display the list in the quick launch. I'm going to select yes, and then choose save. And then I'll use my breadcrumb trail here to return back to my training page. And now you'll see here down in the list section, a link has been added for the links list. So now to get to that list, I just click on links and that opens the list.